Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about using amino acid therapy as an aid for weight loss. Just a quick summary of what amino acid therapy is. These are the building blocks of protein. Each amino acid is used in combination with each other to make up different muscles, connective tissues, neurotransmitters, enzymes, transport proteins, and immune system chemicals. Each amino acid also has specific functions. For example, lysine is required for the body to create new collagen, as well as help protect us from colds and viruses. Amino acid therapy is using specific aminos to achieve certain benefits from the function of these certain amino acids. The reason this can be helpful is that some people are deficient for a number of reasons, including following a low protein diet, overcooking or processing the proteins which can destroy the amino acids, and poor digestion preventing us from breaking down and absorbing what we do consume. In this, we will discuss four amino acids that have been shown to be helpful for the process of losing weight. Number one is L-glutamine. Glutamine can be used as a backup source of energy for the brain when glucose becomes scarce. It can be helpful in preventing low blood sugar cravings for sugary carbohydrate foods. It was shown to improve insulin sensitivity in critically ill patients. A four-week study of obese and overweight female patients showed a reduction in body weight and waist circumference when glutamine supplements were given with no intentional change in diet or lifestyle. Glutamine is also important for muscle cell retention and deficiency in it can cause stimulate apoptosis which could potentially lead to sarcopenia or muscle loss. Number two is L-tryptophan. Tryptophan is required for serotonin production, which is the feel-good hormone. When serotonin is low, the body can crave an abundance of carbohydrate-rich foods because it is an alternative way for the body to raise serotonin. This is especially true in the evening. If you find yourself craving these foods, tryptophan can be helpful to take at night, which is good because it is also helpful in calming the mind as well as aiding in sleep. One study showed an 18% reduction in food intake when obese women were given tryptophan versus a placebo. In another study, people were given tryptophan before a buffet-style meal. The ones given the amino acid consumed less food overall, especially in the form of breads and pasta. Number three is D-phenylalanine. Phenylalanine is required for the creation of dopamine. Low dopamine has been associated with stronger food cravings. It also stimulates the production of the hormone cholecystokinase, which is an appetite suppressant and increases the feeling of fullness. DPA in combination with tryptophan was shown to decrease the amount of food consumed. DPA also had been studied for its benefits on alcohol withdrawal symptoms as well as the skin condition vitiligo. DPA is not recommended if you're pregnant or have a condition called phenylketonuria. Number four is L-tyrosine. Tyrosine has similar benefits to DPA as it is synthesized in the body from phenylalanine. It is also required for dopamine production. The thyroid combines tyrosine and iodine to make thyroid hormone. It can have a stimulating effect similar to coffee through its role in catecholamine production. This can also be a mechanism that, that it can improve the metabolism. Opposed to tryptophan, phenylalanine and tyrosine have energizing effect, so these two are generally taken earlier in the day and those on thyroid medication will want to talk to their doctors before taking. In summary, with weight loss, the main goal is always to be in a calorie deficit. None of these are required to lose weight. However, if you find yourself having extremely strong cravings, especially for sugary foods, these supplements can be helpful. For me personally, I find that taking DPA, tyrosine, or a combination of these in the morning before breakfast and tryptophan in the evening before dinner to be the most helpful. L-glutamine doesn't seem to have an energizing or relaxing effect so it can be taken anytime. I just try to take at least 30 minutes before a meal or two hours after meal so they don't have to compete for absorption with other foods. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe. I have also included some links below for these amino acids from a brand that I like to use, but any form of these should work well.